Welcome back, Bank Fisher with BLV. If you're looking to catch more bass from the banks, especially during this summer, man, subscribe to the channel right now. I got you. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to catch more and bigger bass from the banks by covering water with moving baits. And I am going to show you how to target and find active fish. During the summer months, these bass are aggressive. They may be a little lethargic at times, but if you find them at the right depth, you run the right bait right in their face. And if you can get them to react, I can guarantee you, you will start catching more bass. And today, that is what this video is all about. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel right now. Click that bell notification. You do not want to miss more heaters like this one. I'm telling you, guys message me all the time about how much my tilts have helped them. And guys even send me pictures of their fish catches. So if you learned a tilt from me, if I recommended a bait, anything that you learned from me and you feel like you caught that fish because of me, man, send it to me. I will even share it on my social media. And also make sure you follow me on every social media platform too, so you don't miss anything. And with that said, let's get to it. What is going on? Wake these son of a guns up. Hope I see some kind of activity out there. Maybe a turtle, but gotta check it. Oh, I just got thumped. Oh my, I did, I got thumped again. Oh my God, there it is. Stop and go retrieve. It might be a little one, but stop and go retrieve. We was just talking about it. We was just talking about it. Burn it, don't let them get a good look at it. Don't you see that, that Crush 50S from six cents in his mouth, baby? Let's get it. He's not a big one by any means, but Hey, it's a way to get the morning started. Get them on hook. These little guys will get you hooked, so you really have to be careful. They probably use your pliers. Just a little guy, but let's get them back in. Had them out long enough trying to get the troubles out. Thank you so much, little guy. Woo. Become a 10 for me. I actually just received this in the mail yesterday. I had one of the wild shad color. I just think this looks just a bit more natural. Something the fish haven't seen before. And I, it's hard to fish crankbaits in most ponds, because most ponds are shallow, right? But this particular crankbait, I don't know what it is about that special build design, but it only dies, it says two to five feet. Most crankbaits, they're going to die like four to five feet, four to six feet. This one says two to five feet. You can fish in some of the most shallowest water that you can find, which is kind of what I'm doing. I picked up a little grass here and there, but a lot of times that's what you want to see. And once you find that grass, you want to continue cranking it around that area because a lot of times that's where the bass are sitting. Something like this comes through there very well. And if you feel grass, you can just pause and stop your retrieve. It'll float back to the top and get out on its own. So very special crane, babe. If you want to check it out, check it out from sitcensefishing.com and use code BLB, say you 10%, man. I just ordered like 20 of these. And a lot of baits I actually sold it out thanks to you guys and I couldn't even get some of the new stuff. Oh, I got a fish. It just hit the water and I got a fish. This, this is crazy. This is just berserk. If you don't get any of these, you're just tripping now. You're just straight up tripping. Oh, my drag. That's a nice one, actually. That's probably like a four pounder. Three, at least a three to a four. It literally just hit the water. Got to crank them down a little bit with the drag. This guy's pulling too much. Oh, he be coming through all the grass. All the grass. I'm gonna have to get my feet wet. I'm stuck on the clothes hanger. How in the world? Gotta get my feet wet, fellas. I'm not losing you. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. Soon as it hit the water, that new color, man. That shad burst color. Just going freaking insane. Trying to get this baby release. Her mouth is like full of troubles. I can't even put my hand in there to hold her mouth open. I didn't even set the hook. That's what's so crazy. Oh, hold on, pretty girl. I got you. I got you, pretty girl. I got that beautiful girl on hook. That's about a four and a half to a five pound. Let's get in the water. Ooh, I know she's peed off. I know she is like so angry at me. Sorry, big girl. Who you caught those hooks so freaking good. I had to give her some time to recover my battery. Oh, she just kicked off. She had to get through the grass, but my battery freaking died. Had to change out. Battery was in the middle of releasing the fish, but she's finally recovered. She just kicked off. So it's a great feeling. Just real quick about the setup. The rod, that's a seven foot. Everything I fish is seven foot, maybe seven foot one, seven, two, seven, three. Anywhere between the seven foot to seven, three range. It's perfect for cranking. You need you a medium rod. This particular one, Duckett Green Ghost, cold BLV 10, say you 10%. It's a medium cranking. It's not just a medium, it's a medium cranking, which is on the back of that. I'm not sure if you can see it. 
And this, this rod is specifically designed for cranking. And every ducket rod I ever fished with, even the $80 cheaper one versus my $160 rod, they all are super sensitive. I was able to feel every single bite. I was able to detect what was grass, what was not grass. And that is very important when crankbait fishing. You do not want to just go to ripping hooks and setting the hook into a patches of grass wood logs rocks you don't want that so more likely you want a medium power rod to be able to throw those lighter baits especially if we were to downsize and throw a finesse version of this which we do own and we would definitely be able to use a light rod like this so you want a light sensitive rod and you want a seven foot to be able to get that extra distance on that cast and it gives you a little more leverage on that hook set the other key key component about a great crankbait rod you want that bend you need a rod with a great fast tilt this rod definitely bends because when you're fishing troubles like this once you set the hook, you don't have to rip the freaking, you do not have to rip the lips out of a fish's mouth. Just sweep into them. One fish catch we had earlier, I didn't even bother setting the hook. I didn't even know I was hooked up until like five seconds later. But due to the soft tip of this rod, it allowed those troubles to absorb in the fish's mouth. Versus if I was to pull it back, it would just snatch it off. You had a stiffer rod. Very important. Y'all already know anything it takes to catch that bass, I'm all in. If you're not fishing these crankbaits, I don't know what the heck you're doing. I think I was talking to you guys. I didn't do anything. I just felt tension on my line and the head shaking. Man, there was a freaking route. This new color, that shad burst, I think it's better than a wild shad that I was fishing on the last video. Let's get it back in there. I think it was schooling. Just wasted quite some time, but let's see what else we could come up with. I think that bass might be scarred for life right there. She got hooked by every single hook point on the trouble hooks. Probably brought too many rods. We brought like four rods, two crank baits, a jerk bait, and a swim bait. Now I feel like, man, this crankbait is about all we need. Ooh. I think I just got smacked. Oh my God. There's no way I hit the bottom way out in the middle like that. I got smacked. No way I hit the middle. You're not hitting the bottom way out there. Not right at the beginning of the retreat. That bad. That bait do not dive down that fast. That's what's so great about it. And what makes it such a great pun bait. You can really fish it like, is. I know it. Yo, yeah. Stay down, 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 stay down. Stay down. You want to jump so bad? Just stay down. Calm down. Whew. It's not a real big one. But I told you they were schooling out there. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, fellas. That's it, sis. Oh, that Crush 50 solid crank bait right in his mouth. Let's go. Told you guys we got smacked the first time. We fired back out there. I was able to give them. Thank you for being so cooperative. These crankbaits, like, I'm, you probably can see it on my face. I'm starting to sweat bullets. It's not even super hot. It's cloudy. This is humid, but I didn't start sweating until the action started picking up. It just, something about it, it just gets me fired up. I don't know what. He was hooked too good. Yeah, it is. Just about a pound and a half for us. So, man, let's freaking go. Let's see if we catch us a fourth. You get the little guy back release. Thank you so much, buddy. Come a 10 for me. And the real, anywhere between like a 6-4, so probably a six eight to one gear ratio this one in particular is a six eight i don't want anything too fast anything over seven you're burning the bait you do not want to burn it too fast by the fish especially with the techniques that we're using now we're burning and pausing burn 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 pause you do not want anything in the sevens or anything in the eights when it comes to gear ratio otherwise you're just going to be burning and literally it's going to be burning across every fish in the pond you need you something a little slower that you can burn it's going to give your bait a lot of action a lot of wobble without necessarily burning it past the fish so a 6.8 compared to a 7.5, you can I'm able to burn and pause this bait and create reaction strikes by keeping it in the strike zone. I'm not recovering as much line with a 6.8 versus a 7.5. 7.5, you just recovering entirely too much line, coming too fast, your lure not wobbling the way it's supposed to, not swimming correctly, because like you're overworking the bait, you're overburning it. So you need something 6.4 to a 6.8, something in between. And you can always speed it up, always slow it down as necessary. I also love this reel because it has a great drag system. You need your good drag system to make sure you don't break your line, of course. Coat BLV 10, save on the rod and the reel. Save you 10%, man. I'm telling you, this combo is just freaking deadly. As I'm doing my retreat to let you know, I'm not doing anything but just pure reaction strike. Burning it, pausing it. Might even slap my rod a few times. And if I catch one, you guys got to go and get one of these crankbaits. Look at this soft shell. I hope I don't scare the guy when I walk past. But I just love to see beautiful nature sometimes. He's still sitting over there. He's like about to get ready to go back in this shell. Like, what do I want? So beautiful. Ooh. 
Oh, yeah, don't. Yes, yes. If I could just get them over this grass, dump me on the pause. Whew, just chill, a little partner. He is not happy about that. That crankbait in the corner of the lip. He caught that the last second. I thought I was done with the cast. I don't know. Don't know what it is with me dropping bass lately. Maybe I should hold them tighter, but I try not to squeeze them. Just a solid, beautiful fish. Caught on that six cents. Fresh 50 silent. Prank bait, baby. Let's freaking go. Let's get her back in there. Woo! That right there felt good. Did not have a bite in over an hour or so. Thank you. She was ready to go. Woo! Man, it is hot. Why in the world did I decide to stop here by this poison ivy? Luckily, that's the only thing that's supporting shade right now. Definitely need it here in the sun in Florida. Today was a great day. I hope you learned something. We caught four bass today. Nothing but moving baits. Literally, this was a rod, reel, and a bait that caught everything. If you want to try one of these crankbaits, we have tons of selections. Like 30 plus colors, multiple sizes, different depth divers, everything, man. Whatever you need, these crankbaits are made for bait fishing. I'm telling you, you just got to try. Use code. BFB say 10% on jigs, hooks, terminal tackle like shaky heads, swim bait hooks, more crank baits, jigs, swim baits, literally anything you want. These have been some of the best baits I've been fishing with for the past few weeks. I can't even lie. If you want to try one of the rods and reels, perfect. And it's cheap, it's affordable. This rod was like under 80 bucks. It always directly supports the channel, so anything helps out. Comment down below, let me know what you're thinking about trying it. And next time you go out to your local late Zay. I hope you're throwing something that's going to make those bass react because those big bass are in there waiting for you. There's a bit bass with your name on it. And I hope you're able to go and pull them out of there. And until next time, stay safe. I love you guys. Peace.